Hi, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. My name is Amanda Lee, and I'm a health, happiness, and hormone coach that helps women feel at home in their bodies, both through hormonal balance and emotional freedom. And I'm so excited to be bringing you this uh, free series for the next 10 days, about 10 days of self-care. And I really felt passionate about sharing this with you guys. Hi, Ashley. How are you doing, love? Um, I really was excited about sharing this with you guys because I feel, you know, self-care is such a buzzword these days. Like, oh, you got to do your self-care. And, you know, oh, that means I have to take a bath or I have to get my nails done or, you know, things like that. And I'm not negating things like that because there are times that you actually do need those things. And, you know, that is part of your self-care routine. But more importantly than that, self-care is really about caring for yourself, okay? And this uh, is through a deep relationship with yourself. And why does this matter, okay? A lot of you could be listening to me like, well, this seems selfish, and you feel guilty for even saying anything like self-care or care for yourself, and you should be focusing on others. Yes, I believe that. I believe in a life of service. I believe in taking care of other people and helping other people. That's part of what I do. But I know that if we do not put it on our own oxygen mask, we cannot help others around us. And we show up as a very um, desperate version of ourselves with other people, whether that's our children, our families, or any friendships that we have, if we do not know how to have a deep relationship with ourselves. This transforms our relationship with ourselves, our bodies, our hormones, the way we function, the way that we respond, and also our relationships, okay? So each day I'm going to give you one C word that has to do with radical self-care and relationship with yourself. Today's word is choices, okay? So a woman who really values herself, who has a deep relationship with herself, and who knows how to self-care makes wise choices based on what she needs, not on what she feels, okay? And this is no way about dismissing our feelings. If you know me and you follow me at all or you work with me, you know I'm all about our feelings and connecting to those and not dismissing those, okay? But there are times when we need to make choices and guide ourselves and lead ourselves to the right choices because we are worthy of that, right? So if you have a deep relationship with yourself, and you believe that you are truly worthy, you will lead yourself to choice that makes the most sense for your needs, even if you don't feel like it, okay? And this is a woman who takes action on behalf of herself because she feels she's valuable, right? And, and this means even when she doesn't feel like it. Now, this could look like something like eating healthy, even when she doesn't feel like it, okay? This could look like getting therapy. This could look like sleep exercise, movement, baths, all those things we're talking about. But the point is it comes from a relationship with yourself. Okay, so she identifies what she needs and she chooses that and she takes action to support herself because she deeply believes that she's worth that. And sometimes that means taking the action even before the belief is there. Now, I'm all about the root of it and really believing uh, in yourself and having that connection. And I'm going to tell you the other things along the way, the other 10 things that you need to do to cultivate that in your life. But first of all, it's about checking in with yourself, okay? So in order for you to know your needs, you have to ask yourself what it is you need. And it, when we're just busting through life, which, with, which most of my alpha females do, right? They're busy, 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 busy. And they often bypass their own needs because they are either in a mode of perfection, improving themselves to everybody and having to check all their boxes and do, do, do. They are distracted with their busyness. Or if they are one of my low value women who doesn't believe that they're worth that, they're busy taking care of everybody else other than themselves and they bypass their own emotions all the time. So bypassing your own emotions really can stem from along the line back here, we were told our emotions weren't enough or they were too much and that wasn't going to get us what we needed so we had to bypass those but instead you need to check in with yourself so at any point of the day when you feel a little off when you feel a trigger of some sort when you feel disconnected when you feel tired when you feel exhausted you put your hand on your heart and you say what do i need right now okay even doing that one thing is different than just busting through your day and checking off all your to-do lists or ignoring it it's actually checking in and say, what do I need right now? And that translates to, what does my body need right now? 
That may mean I'm going to choose to not eat that chocolate cake because my body doesn't really need that right now. Or it may mean I actually need to spend some time with some loved ones because I'm feeling depleted. Or I actually need some time with myself. What does my soul need right now? My soul needs connection. My soul needs to know it's loved. Okay, so this is about being present with yourself. In order to be present with yourself, you have to have a relationship with yourself. Okay, so you need to ask yourself what your needs are and not dismiss yourself, okay, because you are worth that. You're worthy of that, okay? So think about it this way. If you had a dog or if you have a child, would you ever just ignore that child or that dog and not, not feed it, not take it for walks, just like abandon it? No, you would not do that because that is a value to you. That They are worth you investing in and worth you taking care of consistently. Well, you are worthy of being taken care of as well. And if you don't take care of you first, you can't take the dog for a walk and you can't show up for your children and you can't do anything else that your purpose is in life. So first of all, it's about connecting the fact that you are worthy of being taken care of them. So this is about responding to your needs versus shutting them down. And this takes a lot of leadership in your life, okay? Because there are times when your feelings are going to want to shut down, you're going to want to go binge eat. Okay, we're going to talk about addiction a little bit more tomorrow and why that's there. But you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to shut yourself and isolate from the world. Your feelings are going to say, um, I'm not, I, I, I don't enjoy myself. I don't, you know, I don't feel invaluable. And you're going to bypass those feelings for your true needs because you are worth that. Okay? If we have that low self-esteem, we think that we are expendable. And we abandon what we don't care about, pretty much. So if you are in a constant pattern of abandoning yourself and bypassing your own needs for either busyness or worrying about everybody else, this is a sign that you need to connect back with yourself and have radical self-care for you. Okay, so taking care of yourself at this high level equals a woman who shows up very present, very connected with herself, and then she can show up for other people. So it translates, right? It translates from just being about you to then being about others because you're getting your needs taken care of so that when you show up, you actually have space. You have space to listen to another person. You have a space to be present. You have a space to serve. So much of my life, I was so consumed with my own junk. Okay, we're going to talk about that on one of the other C words that I had no space to show up for other people. So when you're meeting your needs consistently, you're not desperate and grasping at people that are around you, whether that's your significant other or whatever. Um, and this translates to having healthier relationships because you are helping your taking care of you. No one outside of that is going to be your rescuer. Okay, it's just not going to happen. So um, this is about action and checking in with yourself, being present with yourself. So a high value woman, a woman who has deep radical self care, makes choices based on her needs versus her feelings. So the first step for you to do that today um, is to check in with you. What is it that you need? Okay. Ask yourself these questions and see what comes up and try to meet those needs on a, on a regular basis. Okay. And that's going to be another one of our C words. So I'm trying not to give everything away. I'm just so excited. So if you resonate with this, I would love to hear. You can uh, write me a comment. I see a lot of you are watching right now live. Hello, Tina. Hi, Celie. Uh, hi, Kylie. Hi, Nico. Hi, everybody. Um, so make sure you write a comment if you can connect with this. When was the last time that you actually asked yourself, your heart, your body, your soul, what it is that it needs right now instead of bypassing that and worrying about everything else going on around you? Okay, so if this resonates with you, I would love to know. And I would love for you to take some time today, just five minutes, to check in with yourself and ask yourself what you need and start to cultivate a relationship with yourself because this is going to translate the way that your body functions and the way that you show up with other people. Because a woman who actually checks in with what she needs, once she starts to clear some of that emotional junk out of the way, she does want to eat healthy. She does want to exercise. She does want to be in balance. Okay? Um, yeah. Kylie says, it's the question that I'm learning is so big. Yeah, the question. It's so basic, right, Kylie? It's like, oh, okay. You know, just asking yourself. And so often we don't even do that. And it's amazing just to start to have that relationship with ourselves versus being external and everything going on out here and not focusing on internal. I tell my clients this all the time. Your outside world is a reflection of your inner world. Okay, so this is all I have for you today. Um, 
and I look forward to sharing tomorrow's next word with you about radical self-care and how you can uh, cultivate this more in your life. So thank you for being here today. Um, yeah, Ashley says, I love that you call it leadership to choose the best thing for yourself regardless of feelings. Exactly, Ashley. It takes that leadership, and you know, uh, Kylie and Ashley are two of my clients and Get Your Body Back, and I love that they're here and they're still connecting through this avenue. This is wonderful. Um, but leadership, yeah, and that's what a woman who values herself does. She leads herself even when she doesn't feel like it, okay? So everybody knows who works with me or listens to me, I'm definitely about the feminine energy and connecting with that and how that helps our hormones and our bodies. But we do need masculine energy too, and that masculine energy energy help lead, leads us to the wise choices that we need to do to create the life that we love and to feel amazing and so that we can relax and be in our feminine and show up juicy and joyful and full because we're taking the time to do that, okay? And we're leading ourselves to the life that we love and we deserve. All right, everybody, um, by the way, feel free to ask me questions when you're here live. I would love to, um, you know, be able to serve you here live and uh, provide this opportunity for some pre-coaching for you guys, so please take advantage of that. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 10 for our second installation of this. And uh, yeah, I am very grateful to share this information with you. And I know how much it's transformed my relationship with myself and my life and my hormones and my body and my emotional eating issues that I had. Uh, I definitely had struggled with food. I had struggles with self-worth. And you know that translated to all my relationships and the way that I showed up there. And so I'm really excited to impart this knowledge to you because I know telling you what to eat and how to move and how to you know do all those things they only go so far, and I definitely provide that information for my clients, but that's not going to change you on a deep soul level, and that's what you need in order to have lasting change, okay? So I'm about a deeper level of coaching. I give my clients what they need as far as testing, functional help, learning what's going on in their bodies, but I give them this as well, and this is really what makes a difference on the long haul is cultivating this relationship with themselves, okay? So have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow. And hopefully I'll have some more questions to answer. So go ahead and uh, post your questions for me. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.